Hello everybody, my name is Rutger Druiter and I'll be showing you how to install the Apex ACP to your own installation and uh, first of all I'd like to say we're in the beta version and I'm calling this package the ACP from now on it's called the Apex Any Charge Conversion Package with ACP for short so open a Firefox window and go to the Apex Any Charge or as I said the ACP uh, page it's uh, apexacp.blogspot.com go to the latest release on the download it will guide you to an apex page and on this apex page you are asked to register so I will do that like that my email address and my company which is Logica I will create it And when I create it, uh, it will say that my registration is successful and it will open an extra, uh, extra region. And in this region, there will be an iframe which connects to uh, the SourceForge page where my uh, files are hosted. So. We'll have a little patience. And the download link will pop up eventually. And we will just open this. It doesn't really matter where you save it. It does matter where you extract your files. Well, I already extracted my files. And I extracted it in a folder, which is called test. And this is where I, um, well, just uh, extracted the files. And you can see uh, it's a PDF file. It's uh, with the installation. If you don't like a video or the sound of my voice, you can just uh, watch the PDF. Also, some SQL files we, which are used in the install script, the install script itself, and the JavaScript file for GreaseMonkey, which we will cover later. Well, to install the package we go to uh, the extract point uh, which is the uh, test folder we make and we're starting a SQL plus session uh, Alara uh, is the username and schema it's the parsing schema of my workspace called Alara and in this workspace I have my applications which I want to uh, convert to uh, the ACP package so I will just connect to that and then I will just run the install script. Well, as you can see, packages are created, some grants are done, and some PL SQL is fired. I'm not going into detail right here, but trust me when I say if you see this, it's okay. Well, actually, the installation is done now, but we want to see it anyway, of course. So when we create a page, on my Alara, let's see, I'm logged in on the Alara workspace. I can create a page and the charts, flash charts. I'll just use some default settings right now. Also, just a default column. I'll just use an example query. And if we press next and finish we will see that we have just created a very simple chart okay now to upgrade it without the plugin we need to copy a region source which is provided in the installation document ACP without grease monkey as it says here we just copy this code Edit, copy, and we'll just paste it in this region like that. And when we do apply changes, we'll see that we're using any charge for two one. So this is actually uh, uh, the installation, but uh, to make it convenient, uh, we're using. Uh, Grease Monkey and Grease Monkey is just uh, 
uh, a script I will just remove uh, my uh, package right now because uh, I already installed the plugin and I want to show you how to install it so I just disabled it use grease monkey for Firefox if you can and just drag this grease monkey script in your browser and your browser will say hey hello uh, your any charge package plugin you want to install it well it said only install scripts from sources that you trust and come on guys you gotta trust me on this one just install it okay so it says it's installed successfully and now we can see what it did if we go to the region source we see this chart is upgraded to any chart for 21 so it says actually this chart chart is already 421 so we can also downgrade it again to go to 3.3 so if I press this button convert and I run this page we are downgraded again so if you run in any issues uh, uh, with uh, with converting just convert it back so I will now show it how you can convert it and we just do it like this convert to 421 and voila the region is updated chart is upgraded again and if we look at we can see that is 421 again so this is the installation very straightforward any questions just ask on the site and uh, look at the installation document if it's still uh, unclear to you so thank you for your time and good luck